It seems like only yesterday E3 2018 was upon us, and yet here we are with E3 2019 less than one month away. While this year's E3 would no doubt be different to previous years, with Sony pulling out altogether, it will still be filled with some fantastic new coverage of games that are coming soon, as well as some brand new reveals to look forward to. So today I'm going to run down 13 games that are either confirmed to be making an appearance at E3, or very likely will be, that you should absolutely be hyped for. Let's start off with a game only announced a week ago by Ubisoft, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, a sequel to 2017's Wildlands. In Breakpoint during a standard mission, your helicopter crashes, leaving you stranded on a large island called Aurora in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, putting all your skills to the test against a group called the Wolves. Breakpoint allows you to play solo or with up to three others in online co-op, and your character's progression will move between PvE and PvP seamlessly. There'll be four varied classes to pick from at launch, dialogue choices, plenty of weapons, and more character customization than ever before, as well as four player raids coming sometime post-launch that Ubisoft should detail more at E3. Game number two is the latest entry in the Gears of War saga, Gears 5. This is the second mainline title that the Coalition have developed in the series after taking over the reins from Epic and promises to tell a much darker story than the fourth, shifting the focus away from Marcus Phoenix's son JD and onto Kate Diaz. With Kate Diaz being the granddaughter of the Locust Queen from the original trilogy, Gears 5 will explore her newfound heritage and all that encompasses. Even though I don't believe Gears 5 is confirmed for E3, it's due for release this year, making the expo prime time for Microsoft to show off more about it. Of course, an even bigger game from Microsoft than Gears is Halo, and the next instalment titled Halo Infinite is due to make a big appearance at this E3. The game was originally shown at last year's expo, however it teases all it was, confirming it was in production and demonstrating some of the fantastic visuals possible with the new Slipspace engine. This time we'll no doubt get a much more in-depth look, with hopefully some straight gameplay footage, and find out a little bit about what Master Chief will be up to in the next chapter. Considering the team at 343 are calling it a spiritual reboot, it sounds like there'll definitely be a few surprises in store. Moving on to another sci-fi game, we have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, a brand new third-person single-player game from Respawn, the team behind Titanfall and Apex Legends. Fallen Order takes place shortly after Episode 3 and puts you in the hands of a Padawan turned fugitive, Cal Kestis, as he attempts to rebuild the Jedi Order, piece together his past, and finish his Jedi training. Despite being published by EA, they have promised there won't be any microtransactions, so maybe they'll break their track record and not ruin another Star Wars game. Fallen Order is confirmed to be appearing at E3, so it won't be long before we find out more. Borderlands 3 is finally, after such a long wait, coming in September, and Gearbox have already given us a fair amount of footage during the gameplay reveal a couple of weeks back, but if you haven't quite had your fill yet, Borderlands 3 will be at E3 with even more details. Specifically, they'll be talking about what their end game entails, as well as potentially more about the addition of raids and special events they mentioned previously. If that's something you want to see and hear more about before launch, E3 will have you covered with all you need to know. The following entry is a very different game, although one that also has its own unique art style that certainly stands out amongst the rest. Zelda Link's Awakening is a remake from the ground up of the 1993 Game Boy original, and while staying true to that version in terms of gameplay, it brings with it a whole new aesthetic that makes it feel completely fresh. The announcement trailer for the game was only at a minute and a half long, so we can definitely expect more at E3, and personally I can't wait, as Zelda is one of my favourite series, one that Nintendo seems to always hit out of the park. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is a sequel that was requested for a long time, but after years of rumours, was finally officially announced at E3 of 2017 with a pretty impressive CGI trailer. Since then we've been treated to some pre-alpha gameplay that gave us an idea of what the actual gameplay will be like, but due to being pre-alpha, it's not necessarily representative of the final game. So with that said, it would be great for Ubisoft to give us an update and possibly a look at what kind of role Jade will have in the prequel story after being teased in the 2018 trailer. Going back to Nintendo again and they are set to release the next mainline installment in the Pokemon franchise this year, giving us a reveal trailer a few months ago showing off the start of Pokemon and a little bit of the UK inspired Galar region. Kind of like with Link's Awakening, the announcement trailer was quite brief, so it would be great to see more of the new Pokemon, environments, game mechanics and how they are using the Switch's much more powerful hardware over the 3DS. Some have expressed they feel Game Freak may be playing it a little too safe with Sword and Shield, so we'll see if they can alleviate some of those concerns in a few weeks. The next two entries are also from Nintendo, two we happen to know little about, however they are easily some of the most hyped for the Switch. The first of these is Luigi's Mansion 3. The original Luigi's Mansion came out all the way back in 2001 and proved that Luigi has enough legs to stand up on his own without Mario, even spawning a decent sequel in 2013 on the 3DS, 
So here's hoping Nintendo can pull off once again for the third game. The second Nintendo game we have limited info on is the long overdue next Animal Crossing. The new Animal Crossing was finally revealed in September of last year, although we don't know the full name or have any actual gameplay, only a brief scene with Tom Nook that was labelled as not gameplay footage. With that in mind, we really don't know what to expect from the title in terms of new features. However, if anything, that leaves me more hyped to find out more at E3. The game like previous Nintendo entries are all due this year, so we should get a lot of details. Moving on from cute talking animals to demons from hell, we have Doom Eternal, the successor to the fantastic 2016 Doom reboot. Doom Eternal brings a frenetic, over the top action back with new abilities and more ways to cleave hell's demons apart as the Doom Slayer attempts to rid them from an apocalyptic earth. Its software will be showing off Eternal at the Bethesda conference, giving us a greater look at what we can expect from the sequel at the end of this year, hopefully including some footage of the new online invasion mode that allows players to join another's campaign as a demon and attempt to inhibit their progress. At entry number 12 we have a game I'm pretty sure most of you are hyped for, Cyberpunk 2077 from the developers who brought us The Witcher 3. In August of last year we finally got to see gameplay, and while it was stated to be very much a work in progress, it didn't disappoint with many calling its mechanics groundbreaking. Cyberpunk 2077 is confirmed to be making an appearance at E3, it would be great to see what Sade Project Red has done with it since that initial demo in the last 8-10 to 10 months. If rumours are to be believed, Cyberpunk 2077 could still release at the end of this year, so who knows, maybe we might just get a release date at the expo. Last but certainly not least is a title that in typical Square Enix fashion was revealed way too early back at E3 2015, since then we really haven't heard or seen too much certainly not as much as you'd expect. Much to everyone's surprise at Sony's latest State of Play event, it finished with a brand new teaser for the remake, confirming that Square Enix will be showing off more at E3, most likely during their conference. The teaser showed off jewel dropping visuals and footage that certainly caught everyone's attention. They did however confirm the game will still be releasing episodically, hopefully that doesn't derail what could be an incredible remake of such a classic JRPG. Either way I can't wait to see more next month, fingers crossed Square knows what they're doing. That's it for today, if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for a notification each time my video goes live. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.